mean, for 88 pounds, this better be good. This pretty much just like highlights your belly. Kim, why? Call on me, call me. I'm still scarred from that whole experience. What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well today. As you guys can tell by today's video title, we have yet another Skims trying out video. And this time I'm actually gonna be trying out Skims swimwear. I think this is my first time testing out this particular category of clothing from Skims. So I'm really, really excited. I am kind of getting flashbacks from that time that I tried out Kylie Swim like last year and oh my gosh, I'm still scarred from that whole experience. So for my sake, as well as your eyes, let's just hope that Skim Swimwear is at least a little bit better. Anyways, if you guys are new here and you guys haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Roxy, welcome to my channel. If you guys wanna stick around, be sure to subscribe down below. I have also filmed a couple of other Skims related reviews. So if you guys wanna check those out, I'll have them all linked in the eye. But if you guys wanna see what kind of swimwear I picked up for Skims for this video, then without further ado, let's get on into the video. Oh my gosh, I've just realized, I I forgot to turn my background lights on. Hang on. Ah, that's better. By the way, I think I might change my background very, very soon. I'm kind of feeling a change. I feel like I've had this background for years now. So if you guys have any suggestions what kind of background you would want me to do, let me know in the comments. Anyways, here is my bag of goodies from Skims. So last time that I purchased stuff from Skims directly, it actually came in a really nice box. So I'm a little bit like upset that it didn't come in a box, but that's okay. Anyways, I spent $800. $50 on all of this stuff right here, which I think is like roughly 700 pounds. We've got a whole selection of so many different styles and I actually did manage to get my hands on that new pink range that she just came out with. I also got some of that like metallic stuff, which I'm just like, who would even wear that? So we're basically just gonna try all of this out. We're gonna see what the quality is like and whether it's worth your money. Okay, so the first item that I'm really excited to try out is this swimsuit right here. I'm not gonna lie, the shape of it is kind of giving me Kylie Swim kind of vibes, but I feel like Skims, I mean, I've tried and tested Skims a couple of times on my channel, and I mean, I have been impressed with the fit and the quality. So hopefully the swimwear will be no different. Let's crack this open and see what it's like. I mean, for 88 pounds, this better be good. Okay, so here it is. This is what it looks like. Okay. All right. So first things first, this is what the swimsuit looks like. It's kind of got like a racer back detail. The sort of like chest area does look a little bit small. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I'm gonna get either under boob or like upper splodge. And to be honest, when I'm swimming, I don't really want my boobs flying out of my swimsuit. That's just me. It then has this massive cut out around the belly. And then it's pretty like high waisted, I would say. But I really like the fact that the bottom isn't a thong. To be honest, I really expected a thong on pretty much every swimsuit from Skims because I feel like that's their thing. But I'm actually really pleased that the bottoms of this don't look like they'll be too revealing and too cheeky on the behind. In terms of quality, the stitching, everything looks pretty tip top. It doesn't look cheap. It feels really nice and thick. It feels like it's double lined as well. So I don't think it'll be see-through. My one criticism is that it doesn't have like any padding. I do really like a swimsuit with padding or at least one that has the option to put your own padding in. But that's my only criticism so far, as well as the price. The price is very expensive for just a simple swimsuit. So I guess let's pop it on and see what the hype is all about. All right guys, so here is the first swimsuit and what it looks like on. I have to say, I'm a huge huge fan of the quality and the color, but personally, I don't think it's the most flattering shape. Perhaps it may be okay for someone that's like super, super toned and they don't really have like any body fat on them. But I feel like for the regular average person that does have body fat and they don't really work out every day, this pretty much just like highlights your belly. I am gonna be honest, I am sucking in just a little bit because I am a little bit bloated right now. And honestly, as soon as I put this on, I was like, hell no. It pretty much just like highlights this area right here. And if it was a little bit more high-waisted, I feel like I could get away with it, but it like scoops right under there. And personally, that is not my vibe. I don't really like this like whole belly cut out. Looking in the camera from afar, it honestly like highlights this area so much that it almost makes it look like I'm pregnant. Anyways, apart from that, this is what it looks like. It's not too cheeky, but I mean, it's definitely a little bit more on the cheeky side. Apart from that, the top half fits really 
really nicely. I love the way that it sits on my chest. I actually was a little bit worried that it might be a bit too narrow, but it's covering me up pretty well. But I feel like from the front, unless you're Kim Kardashian or Kylie Jenner, you're just gonna feel really insecure about like this whole section. So I'm gonna give this whole swimsuit probably like a three out of 10 because of that. Okay, so moving on to the next swim kind of outfit. I didn't even realize this was a thing. We have a bandeau top as well as a sarong skirt. This is called the swim sarong skirt, which I'm just thinking like, do you actually go swimming in this or does she just mean like, you could just wear it in like a swim kind of situation, like by the pool or by the sea, but would you actually wear this to go in the water? I'm not too sure, but I bought it because <laughs> I'm a sucker for anything that looks cute. So here is the bandeau top and oh my gosh, this is actually really nice. I didn't even realize this, but it has a strap, like one strap that you can wear kind of like halter neck, like what I'm wearing now. This is really cool, it's adjustable and then the quality of it is very nice. Like the actual swim top is very thick. It's almost made of like a satin, faux satin kind of fabric. It also has this like jelly strip on the inside, which means that it won't like ride down because it's got the resistance Distance. How much was this though? I mean, it's nice quality, but this was 38 pounds for like a simple bandeau. I really hope that for 38 pounds, this is made of like that kind of white fabric that isn't just gonna go see-through when it gets wet. So yeah, that's the top half. And then to go with it, I picked up the matching colored sarong. Now I am really, really excited to try this. I hope that this is gonna be made of the same fabric as the top. It is, okay. Ooh, look at this. This is cute. I actually recently tried a sarong skirt like this, but not a swim one. And it was from Shein. I actually really liked the cut and the look of it on. So I feel like I'm gonna get on with this item. I really like the fact that it's ruched on the back. The band is quite thick. And then it's obviously got that like tight effect. It's kind of got that like asymmetrical sort of vibe with the slit on the side. Just so you guys know, the sarong skirt was 78 pounds, which is definitely expensive, but but I mean, the quality is really nice. It's double lined and I mean, it's nice. So I'm just gonna try it on and let's see if it's worth the money. All right, so here is the skirt and the bandeau. Honestly, I'm in love with this. I would genuinely just wear this as like a regular outfit on holiday. The color fit and fabric quality is absolutely amazing. I am so happy with the skirt. It's not see-through at all. I am wearing some like neutral underwear underneath this just to like make sure that I'm not flashing anyone because obviously it does have this slit. To be honest, if I was to actually wear this swim skirt to go swimming, I would 100% want to wear something underneath it. As for the top half, I am really, really liking the way this fits. I actually took the strap off because I feel like I genuinely didn't even need it. I feel very supported in this. Obviously, it's got that rubberized kind of a strip along the top, so that means it's not gonna ride down. And yeah, this is what the whole outfit looks like on. I am genuinely contemplating keeping this because I would just wear the set like out, not even swimming. But yeah, in general, I'm gonna give both of these items a 10 out of 10. Okay, moving on to the most expensive thing that I got from this whole haul. We have this, and this is from their gold uh, like swimsuit range. When this first came out, I really kind of contemplated whether I should do a video on it, but it sold out within minutes. So when they did a restock, I thought, you know what? I will try one thing out at least. I just don't know what the appeal is about this like metallic kind of fabric. Personally to me, it's it's giving like cheap vibes. I really don't love the fabric or like the color of it. I don't know why, but for me, this is giving me like Halloween superhero kind of one piece costume vibes. From doing all those Halloween videos years ago, I swear I probably already own something like this in my loft. So this metallic swim cycle suit was 128 pounds for this, literally for this. Kim, why? I just don't get it. And who's buying this? I just, Maybe I'm a hater, but like, I just don't see the appeal. As far as metallic fabric goes, it feels like it's pretty good quality, even though it looks cheap. I think perhaps it looks cheap on camera and at a first glance because it's got all these creases. So maybe once I've got it on, it'll look better. But for 128 pounds, I'm sorry, this is ridiculous. Let's try it on and see how it fits. Okay, so here is the gold leotard kind of swimsuit. Honestly, 
I don't even know what to say about this. I don't know why, but I genuinely feel like I look like I'm going to like a swim competition at school. Or like a dance class. Like, do you see what I mean? It looks like very theatrical almost. I do have to say one thing though. The swimsuit definitely has gotten rid of all the creases now that I've got it on. It looks pretty good. Put it this way, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing a metallic fabric. Like, I don't know how they manage that, but it feels actually pretty comfortable. Personally, I don't know what it is, but I just could never wear something like this to like a swimming pool or the beach. I just feel like I look so ridiculous. This whole thing is really reminding me of that music video where all the girls are like working out and doing aerobics. Do you guys know what music video I'm talking about? It's the one that goes like, call on me, call me. God, that's a blast from the past. That song is like so old. But yeah, that's what this is giving me. I mean, I don't know if I could get on board with this. I don't know if I could wear this out, but it fits nice and does does it look good? I guess I'll let you guys be the judge of that. All right, so for the next item, we're gonna be trying out another hot pink kind of item. This is once again from the new range. It was called the Swim Tank Dress in Taffy, and this was 88 pounds. Once again, what's a swim dress? Like, do you actually go swimming in this? I am just very confused, and that's why I really wanted to try it out. Is this dress for one of those situations when you're at a pool party, and then like everyone jumps in the pool really spontaneously? I feel like it'd be good for that because it's almost like, oh my God, she's jumping in, in her dress. But yeah, this is what the dress looks like. It's made of that same kind of like swimsuit fabric. It's very nice, I'm not gonna lie. I really like the square neckline. I love the color as well. I think it's such a cute color. But all in all, it's basically just a simple like bodycon dress. Let's hope that this is just as fitted and as snatching as all the other Skims dresses I've tried on in the past. 88 pounds though, come on. Here is the dress and what it looks like on. So I mean, as always, Skims has killed it with the dress. Once again, I would genuinely just wear this as a regular dress. It is that good. First things first, I don't know how and like what kind of magic they infuse into these Skims like dresses but they are always so well supported. I'm literally not wearing a bra with this. I've just got my sticky cups on and then I've just got this dress on and somehow it is very supportive. I think it's the fabric, like the nature of it is very stretchy but tight. So everything is super lifted. As for the rest, it's very stretchy. As you guys can see, it's just so well fitted and it's very, very comfortable. Even though it's made of that like swimsuit kind of fabric, it's very breathable actually. So I'm really, really happy with the quality of this. Now, if I was to actually wear this to go swimming, I would 100% also wear some like swimming bottoms just because, you know, you definitely don't want to go commando. But yeah, this is the dress. I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10. I definitely am going to keep it. Moving on, the next set we have is a brown set in the shade Coco. So I actually have a swim tank top bikini as well as the swim mid-waist shorts. The top was 48 pounds and the bottoms were 42. Now this is something that I actually feel like is way more up my street because it's something that I would just wear anyway. The top is basically just like a normal bikini top. Top. I literally have worn things like this in the past. And as we know from my previous videos, I do actually really like the Skims tops. So that's what that looks like. Just for reference, I got everything in a size small. And then these shorts are pretty much just like cycling shorts. They're very, very just plain. But I feel like these would be absolutely amazing for when you just want to like go swim in the sea or a lake and you want a little bit more coverage and a bit more warmth. Once again, this whole set looks like just regular clothing. So I think that's really interesting and I would totally just wear it out. So once again, let's Let's try this set on and see how it looks. All right, so here is the next two piece and what it looks like on. Once again, I'm just obsessed with the fit. It is so snatching, literally everywhere. The shorts literally just feel like a regular pair of cycling shorts. They're very comfortable. They're very like fitted at the bottom. So I feel like you're not gonna get like loads of water coming inside. I think this would be 100% appropriate to go swimming in. They are very, very comfortable and tight fitting. And then the crop top is so cute. I love the way it fits. It's very supportive. The band at the bottom is really nice and thick. Don't get me wrong, it's well fitted, but it's also got quite a bit of stretch to it. So I am a big fan. As I said, with pretty much every single item so far, I would once again, just wear this on a day-to-day -day basis. It doesn't just have to be a swimsuit. So once again, I'm a big fan of the fit, the color, and everything else, so I'm giving this set a 10 out of 10. Now the last few items are all in the shade Okra. I actually have a set as well as one piece. So let's start off with the set. So this is basically a bandeau top with a swim skirt. This time the swim skirt is a 
a mini skirt, which I'm really interested to see how that would work because you would totally need to wear something underneath it. I don't know about you guys, but I would not trust myself to keep my skirt down whilst swimming and not flashing my bum to everyone. Okay, so this is the skirt. It appears that it's a little bit longer on the back and a little bit shorter on the front. Okay, that's interesting. I mean, obviously it allows for your butt, like the curvature of your butt in the back. And then the bandeau is basically the same as the white one, but this is obviously in the okra shade. It's also got that strap and then the quality is exactly the same. Once again, both of these items look just like normal clothing. So let's pop it on and see how it fits. Okay, so this is the next set. I'm pretty sure if you saw me wearing this by the pool, you'd probably think I'm naked. The color is just so similar to like my natural skin tone that it pretty much just blends in. Probably not the best choice of shade from Skims for me, but I mean, it's a nice color. So right off the bat, the top is pretty much exactly the same as the white one. I did actually keep the strap on this time because I want to show you guys what that looked like. If you're worried about the bandeau like coming off, obviously you do have the strap for extra support. So on the bandeau, front we're all good I'm a big fan of it and then on the skirt this I'm a little bit confused about basically the way it sits right here is okay but personally I like to wear my skirts a little bit more high-waisted and when I do I end up having all this like excess fabric around the waist. So basically moral of the story is that if you get this skirt, just expect that you're gonna have to wear it pretty low. I don't know why, but personally when I wear skirts like at this sort of level, it just looks a bit weird on me. But yeah, in terms of the quality, the fabric is really nice. It's basically the same as everything else. So in terms of this little ensemble, I'm gonna say the crop top is nice, but I don't really like the skirt. So I'm gonna give that probably like a five out of 10. And now moving on to the very last item we have this kind of like one piece this is also in the shade is it okra or ochre i don't know how to say it. Now this is the swim mock neck cycle suit and this was 108 pounds. I mean, let's be real, that is pretty pricey for a swimsuit. However, you do get a lot for it. Like you get all this, all this fabric and it's made of the exact same fabric as pretty much everything else. As you guys can see, it's got a zipper to allow you to get into it. The shorts look pretty nice and fitted and hopefully this will be pretty snatching. Honestly, I feel like something like this would be great for people that are a little bit more modest. They don't want to show off any boobs or bum or anything like that obviously you are very covered up in this one piece the only thing that's really on show is your arms and legs this is definitely a little bit different for me i probably wouldn't wear something like this if i was going swimming but let's try it on and see how it looks and now the very last outfit is here this is what it looks like once again i look naked someone remind me in the future never to get this shade from skims again unless it's like the underwear stuff i mean once again it's very very snatching it's very body hugging so that's good if you're into that kind of thing i do feel pretty covered and supported in this i must say i do feel like my boobs are a little bit squished in there but it's okay obviously you can like zip this all the way up which actually feels a little bit like strangly this is what it looks like if i was to zip it up all the way not a big fan so i would definitely keep it a little bit unzipped oh my god i just caught my skin in there sheesh skims you trying to kill me yeah this is what it looks like all around I definitely look naked, so ignore that. The quality of this one feels a little bit thinner. It's almost like it's just one skin. Oh wait, no. It has got a double skin. Look at that. You can actually separate it. That's kind of weird. Anyway, would I ever wear this to go swimming? Probably not. I feel like it's just not really me, so I'm probably gonna return this. But I mean, each to their own. The quality is nice. It fits nice. So I'm probably gonna give it like a seven out of 10. All right, guys. So that was everything for my Skims swim review. This was so much fun trying out all these different styles. I honestly had the best time. I don't really know what is my favorite thing. Maybe one of the pink items. I really love that shade. I'm so happy that I managed to get it because it was selling out so fast. Like that's the thing. I feel like Skims really release like five items each time and they're like, oh my God, we're sold out. Let me know in the comments which one of these swimsuits or items was your favorite and whether you would purchase from Skims. Also, if you guys wanna check out any of my other Skims related videos, I actually recently posted a Skims dupe kind of video where I actually got very similar things from Skims, but instead I got them from Amazon for much cheaper as well as that. I I've also tried out the Skims shapewear and the loungewear in two separate dedicated videos, so I'll link them in the eye. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that huge thumbs up down below. Be sure to subscribe as well if you haven't already. Anyways, that is all from me. Thank you guys so much for being here as always, and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!